So almost ready to get underway and towing the slab in this one, Alec Marsh. And Singy, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure, he's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position. Most guys, they get a little tight, they start to aim the baseball, but for some reason, he gets looser, the ball comes out of his hand with more life, and he's able to wiggle off the hook of you know, tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. Here's a one-two. That oh. one is upstairs. Oh. Got him oh. swinging for the strikeout. Pulled the string on the changeup. And that's the first strikeout of his major league career. And it could be the first of many if he meets the goals he set for himself and the expectations others have for him. He doesn't want to just win games. He wants to dominate at this level. Do you think young pitchers could sometimes get too caught up in trying to rack up K's early in their career? Boog, I think they can. It's kind of like a hitter that doesn't have power. The thrill is still hitting a ball over the fence. And so for a guy, even if he doesn't have power stuff or strikeout stuff, a strikeout is still something that makes him stick his chest out a little bit further. Here's the Guardians lineup now. Singy, this lineup has the benefit of playing behind a great pitching staff. They've got a really low ERA. Yeah, and, you know, with that said, there's not as much pressure on the offense, but make no mistake about it. Players want to hit the ball hard, and they want to score runs. They want to jog around the bases, hitting the ball over the fence. So regardless of how dominant the staff can be, the attitude is we want to go out there and have some fun with the bat. So we'll see. One big inning in this one, you know, could be all they need, but you'd like to have multiple big innings. Right into the plate. No, that's too hot. And that one ripped to left. And that's a fair ball. Around first and hustling for second. And his first big league hit is a double. Jose Ramirez with his first major league hit and this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget congrats yeah great moment for him and his family a guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen and when it does it can kind of be overwhelming Boog. you still have to stay locked in on the game but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here And it's second here with two away. And now it's Josh Naylor. Left hand hitter waits. Right side. Sends it to first. And that'll do it. One left for the Guardians. The Royals will get their chance now in a scoreless ball game. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Back here in Kansas City, today's starting pitcher, Matthew Boyd. What do we have on him? Well, he's been a very dependable starter for his club, and what stands out for me is that left-handed hitters have really struggled batting below 200 against him, and it just tells me they have a hard time tracking the baseball. Maybe it's the release point, maybe it's the motion, but just some way, somehow, they've got to figure out a way to pick it up and try to have some success from the left side. We go to the bottom of the first. So up now for Kansas City, Tommy Pham trying to pick up his first knock in the big leagues. The pitch. Fouls that off to the left and will do it again. Swing and a miss struck him out. Now here's Bobby Witt Jr. Liner snagged it first. And here now, the lineup for the Royals. 
been a real struggle this year. They're at the very bottom of the league in on base percentage, and of course, when that's the case, other offensive categories follow suit, Singy. Yeah, Boog, uh, at times they come out early just to run the bases so that these players won't forget in case they are able to break out and, you know, get some hits and run around. But, yeah, it, in all seriousness, it's not a lot of fun when you're not getting on base, when you're not out there um, at least able to, to, to trade off and a runner on second base, you get a knock, you drive them in, or you hit a double and you trade places with them. All that kind of stuff just keeps you excited about the game, and they just haven't been able to experience it very much. That just misses, and the count's full. Salvador Perez waiting for a turn at the plate. That one is inside ball four, and I mean, oh, so close. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or an end of the gap, will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the Ball, best. Go. That is if you are the offensive side Three, of it. One. So now Ball, two four. on and two outs. That is good. No left field. And to the play for Kansas City, M.J. Melendez. Two on, two outs. Can't find it here. That's six straight balls. Well, with this many pitches thrown here in this first inning, I mean, you're giving the other team a really good look. He's going to have to find a way to get some weak contact, maybe a swing and miss, get into that dugout and hit the reset button. Two outs. Late on that fastball. First inning going a bit long. 23 pitches to this point. And another ball. Freddie for me. Waits on deck. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. The pitch. High fly ball down the left field line. Long run. Nice grab. And that will end the inning. Royals strand a pair. Scoreless after one. Top of the second. Now it's the rookie DH. John Kenzie Noel. And here it comes. And that one fouled off. And the right hander deals. And a swing and a miss. One gone here. Now it's the right fielder, Will Brennan. One down, base is empty. So a foul ball makes it one and two. pitch and that skips in the dirt recognize that change up right out of the hand just spit on it Joe McDonald doing the home plate duties here well Joe is an interesting one I'm always trying to figure out what exactly his zone is it feels like it kind of moves around from game to game sometimes inning to inning back up the middle in a base hit so they get a man aboard with a one out single Will Brennan with his first major league hit, and this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen, and when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, dude. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. One gone runner at first. And here's the rookie center fielder. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Man at first, one away. 
on the ground. Foul and ball. that's just foul. And a pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Well, he hasn't gotten the result yet, but it's got to feel pretty confident. Three foul balls in a row. He's right on this guy. Ah! Got him swinging. That's out number two. Bo oh, Naylor at the plate now. Two outs. Missing inside. Two balls and a strike. The pitch. Check swing didn't go. And the count is three and one. Move to first. And he dives back in safely. Next offering popped in the air. Right field. Fan under it. And that is that. Guardians leave one. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Back here at Kauffman Stadium. Bottom half of inning number two. Leading off, Freddie for me. One fouled off, two and two. Oh, that got away from him. And he's going to reach on a hit by pitch to lead off the inning. Well, that one might sting for a bit, but it helps the team and it boosts the OBP move. Sometimes that trade off is worth it, but you know, sometimes it's not. gets a piece all sliders so far in this at bat to get ahead in the count and clearly shows there was a game plan in mind for how to attack him in the box the pitch that one misses and the count is two and two Chase that time. Got him swinging. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Now the third baseman. Kicks Indians. Off the plate inside. Now two balls and a strike. through there for a strike good approach right there you want to get something just a little higher that you can elevate stand on that double play tapped softly on the ground over to second for one double play what a twin killing to end the inning nothing across here this half we played two full no score Just missed. That's in there. That's strike two. The line to kick the pitch. That misses the zone. Full count now. This one popped up. Melendez running hard to get it. Makes a nice grab and a full sprint. One up, one down. So the batting order turns over. Here's the left fielder, Stephen Kwan. 
A wind and a pitch. That big swing and a miss. The punch out there. That's out number two. Well, he throws him with a great fastball right on the corner. It's kind of like bowling when you think the ball's going to get into the gutter and somehow just hangs onto that edge and knocks down a pin. Well, he got the outside corner of the plate and got that call third strike. Up the middle. Now the throw to first on the run. In time. Got him. And that'll do it. Nothing doing for the Guardians there. And we are still scoreless. This guy's just a tremendously talented center fielder. Gold Glove caliber type out there. Offensively, he can do some things, but you know, also has some streakiness as well. I think the key is just trying to find a way for him to be consistent day in and day out. You know, he saves runs in the outfield, so that's going to buy him more time to work things out at the dish. And the slider just misses. It's a good take. Kicks and fires. Ball Just three. missed. Full count. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. And now the lefty. To third. Ramirez sends it to first. Leadoff man retired here in the third. So the Royals batting order turns over. Here's Tommy Pham. One down, base is empty. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. The one, two. Fights it off, you'll see another. Pitch misses there. Two balls, two strikes. Ripped on a line. Quan makes the grab, and there's two gone. Man, he smoked that fastball. He's all over it. It's just frustrating when you can't get it to fall. Maybe next time off, he'll find a hole. Bobby Witt Jr. steps in for the Royals. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. One, two. The shortstop the takes a ball. Oh, and yeah. another ball. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three hole hitter coming up if he's walked. Two out spaces empty. Cuts ah, and misses. Three. It's a strikeout. Royals go down one, two, three. Still no score. Here in Kansas City, out of the fourth. Now it's Jose Ramirez. And the pitch. Bounce to the left side. And that chance handled. The throw to first. They go 5-3 for the first out as the third baseman makes the play from the shortstop spot in the ship. Here's Josh Naylor. All tied up. Top half of inning number four. Fouls one off out of play back to our left. That one misses in the dirt.
Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Wind of the pitch. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. He's got it, and there's two away. Now that the difficult hit. John Kenzie Noel digs in for the Guardians. Outside two and two. Two down, nobody on. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Two outs. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Payoff pitch. Battling here as he fouls it away. Grinding A-B right here. About to see pitch number 10. Oh. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Guardians go down one, two, three. And we're still knotted at zero. to be more disciplined at the plate. They're chasing a lot of pitches outside the zone, and those chases are turning into a bunch of outs. Can they turn that around and stay within the zone? We'll see, but I think they have to. Michael Massey with his first major league hit, and this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen, and when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, dude. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. And now it's Salvador Perez to the plate. Here comes a pitch. Way out front for strike two. One ball, two strikes. Massey gets his lead at first with nobody out. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Hitters become defensive, and all of a sudden, that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is, because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. And here is M.J. Melendez. Swing and a miss. Struck him out two out. Oh, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff single. Back-to-back -back strikeouts, so they haven't been able to move that runner up, get him into scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. Now the catcher up to hit. Freddie for me. Line drive. He's got it. And that is out number three. Royals leave one through four. Still tied. Zip, zip. And welcome back to the ballpark. Top five, John Shabby with Chris Singleton. And leading it off, Will Brennan. Will Brennan. Will 
Swing, and that ball smashed out of line. And foul ball. And a pitch. That one almost got him. Still two and two after the foul ball. And a pitch. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. Right-hander kicks, deals. And that's outside. Nasty backdoor slider. There's really nothing you can do with that if you swing at it. So that's a good take by him. Got him looking. He battled for a long time, but it finishes with a strikeout. You can't be mad at yourself after an at-bat like that one. Well, that curveball had some pretty good break to it. As you can see, the hitter just locked up a little bit. Thought it was a great pitch to hit, but sometimes you're looking for something else, and you can't pull the trigger. And another ball. And that one sliced foul. One down, base is empty. This to center field. Settles under it. And there's two away. Now back. The captain. Bone Nailer digs in for the Guardians. And Chris, his big strength is defense. But it is interesting, in today's world of baseball, compared to when you played, a good defensive catcher is considered differently. Whatever you get off. He's under it at short, puts the squeeze on it, and that'll do it for the inning. Guardians fail to score. Halfway through this one, still no score. We head to the bottom of the fifth. And now the first baseman, Yuli Gurriel. High fly ball out to center field. Moving under it. Pulls it in, and there's one away. So critical to keep an eye on the pitch count this time of the year. Guys can start to run on fumes a little bit. Mechanics can drop off. And we know they need him to be fresh and ready for big innings in October. And here it comes. This one in the air center field. Sizing this one up. And there's two down. Center fielder, number 28. And next up for the Royals, Kyle Isbell. Swing and a ground ball off the middle. That's a base hit. So a two out knock keeps the inning alive. Kyle Isbell with his first major league hit and this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget congrats yeah great moment for him and his family a guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen and when it does it can kind of be overwhelming boog you still have to stay locked in on the game but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here back to the top of the lineup now here's the leadoff hitter for the Royals, Tommy Pham. Hit on the ground to the right side. And it goes just foul. Two gone, but the go-ahead run is at first. Last half of inning number five. Finds its way through base hit. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Tommy Pham with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, 
can kind of be overwhelming, dude. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you work to get here. First and second, two down. Now the number two hitter, Bobby Witt Jr. Two on, two outs. Ball. On the ground, right side. Oh, wow. nice play. And very nicely done for the out. That was a great job of doing the math. He had the perfect angle. Diving stop completes the play. And that ends the inning. Back here at Kauffman Stadium. And now Brian Rocchio. The 1-1. Ground ball right side. The flip to the pitcher Lead covering. Out. And that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. The left hitter, Steven Kwan. So the Guardians lineup turns over. Now the left fielder, Steven Kwan. Base is empty one away. And we're the top half of the sixth. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, they've had a great plan of attack for him tonight. I mean, finding all the holes in his swing and his approach, just frustrating for him up there. You strike out a guy three times in a game, I think that guy's got to go back and really study some video with his hitting coach, figure out how they're beating him, make this adjustment really quick, because Ward will get around the league in a hurry. Here's Andres Jimenez. Oh. Next offer in there for a strike. And that's strike two. Righty to the plate. And they'll do it again. Righty delivers. 2 2. Bounce to the right side. And it finds its way through for a hit. And that extends the inning. Andres Jimenez with his first major league hit and this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget congrats yeah great moment for him and his family a guy worked so hard and had to wait so long for this to happen and when it does it can kind of be overwhelming dude. you still have to stay locked in on the game but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. Alec Marsh will depart, and as he heads for the dugout, we'll take a quick break. New arm on the mound when we get back. A new arm into the game, the righty, Steven Cruz. He's been so good against lefties. Here's Jose Ramirez. Check on the runner, and he's back in safely. Jimenez, the runner at first with two gone. Runner on the goal. Pitch is high. Go to second. Out there, and that ends the inning. Well, trying to get in the scoring position, but a great catch and throw to end the inning. That's the way to pick up the pitcher. Bottom of the six. And to the plate for Kansas City, Michael Massey. The lefty fires. Swing and a miss. As he was out front that time. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Number 36. A right hander with big strikeout stuff is getting it fired up. Heron, the lefty, warming up as well. 
Next offering misses, and the count's even at two. And that's in the dirt. To the right side. One up, one down. Salvador Perez now at the plate. All tied up here in the bottom of the sixth. Fought off foul. Swing and a miss. Curveball in the dirt. Naylor gathers, throws the first, and it beats him for out number two. That's a strikeout. You hear people talk about letting the ball travel so often in terms of a hitting approach, and that's a great example why right there. If he's willing to let that curveball get a little deeper into the zone before he commits, he's way more likely to recognize that it's making a beeline for the dirt. On the other side, still a nice two-strike pitch, though. MJ Melendez steps in for the Royals. Two down, nobody on. That's a laser base hit. MJ Melendez with his first major league hit, and this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, Boog. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Matthew Boyd out of the game, and that was a start he can feel pretty good about. Tie ball game. And new pitcher when we get back. So a young arm coming on now out of the pen. Number 36. And here is Freddie Fermin. Right-handed reliever, and another ball. Throw over the first, Melendez dives back in safely. The pitch. Right field down the line, and that one slices foul. And a swing and a miss. That ends the inning. Switch hitting third baseman Jose Ramirez. Swing and a high fly ball. Pretty well struck right field. That ball's carrying. And it is gone. He sends it out of here. His first homer of the year, and they grab the lead. It's 1 0. Pitchers hate going against Jose Ramirez because he tends to punish the baseball. This is just the latest example of it. Breaking ball on the inside part of the play requires a hitter to stay really square with his mechanics. If you fly open with the front shoulder, there's no way you keep that ball fair. An outstanding job mechanically. He deserves that home run.
Josh Naylor digs in for the Guardians. That Ooh, one not close. And it's two and one. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up and you start to expect a big inning. Pulled hard, but it's a foul ball. Two two now to twenty two. Oh. And that one missing low. Full count. Hard ground ball, base now. Now that Josh Naylor with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, dude. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. John Kenzie Noel digs in for the Guardians. The pitch. Swing and a miss at 99 miles an hour. Naylor on at first. Nobody out. Just misses with that one. Really good slider. He's up there just hoping that it ends up off the plate away. Slider misses outside. This is a really good feeling for a hitter. At this point in the ball game, you know that they don't want to walk you, so you're going to get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. High in the air, out to right. Fam snags it. Now that So in now for Cleveland, Will Brennan. One run across in the frame so far here in the top half of inning number seven. Hard hit down the line and left. And that's just foul. Gets under and pops it up. Moving under this one. Makes the grab for the second out. And now the center fielder. That one is triple digits. Wow, triple digits on the gun. I know there are more pitchers that can reach that now than in the past, but it's still impressive to watch. Got it by him for the play. Cleveland with the solo shot to take an early lead. It's now 1-0. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here in Kansas City, set for the last half of the seventh. Here's Guriel. And another ball. Looking to get the tying run on base. Swing and a miss. Ooh, Baya. You got to remember to take the donut off the bat, partner. Swings and misses, struck him out. A big first out here in the seventh via the punch out. Yeah, it just does so much to change the outlook of an important inning like this. When you get the leadoff hitter so critical in setting the table when you've got a tight game like this. So a strikeout really puts them on their heels. Here's the third baseman. And a pitch. Cut on and missed 96 of that fastball.
Holding on to a one run lead here at the bottom of the seven. Swing and a ball driven pretty well out towards left center. He's under it. Pulls it in for the out. The center fielder, number 28. Here's the center fielder, Kyle Isbell. Two outs. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. One, two. That's towards center. On the move. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that is that. in the game for the Royals, Cole Reagan. Bringing in the lefty with the left-handed hitter coming up to hit. Classic bullpen move right here, so we'll see how it works out. Well, one run game at the play. Bo Naylor. Bo Naylor. The pitch. And another ball. Bounced up the middle with gathers and throws the first. Leadoff man is out here in the eighth. Well, here we talk about how the ball is coming out of the pitcher's hand. The way it comes out of his hand as an infielder. Wow, really impressive. Stepping up for the Guardians, Brian Rocchio. Bases empty one away, and we're in the top of the eighth. Swings through that one out in front that time. Action in the pen down there. John Shriver appears to be getting loose. Singer getting cranked up as well. The 2-2. Stays alive. One down, base is empty. In the air, left side. Melendez drifts towards it. And there are two down. Now battle. The left fielder. Steven so the lineup flips over. Steven Kwan digs in now. Two down, nobody on. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Finish. And that one is inside. Two balls, two strikes. Popped up. Under it. And that is that. The Guardians go down in order, but they still lead it 1-0. Now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Hunter Gaddis. These are the spots relievers really make a name for themselves, late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. Back to the top of the order now, Tommy Pham steps in for the Royals. That one catches the zone. And it's one and two. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Emmanuel Classe, the closer, is getting ready and perhaps looking at a long save opportunity here. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. And he deals. 
Fouls it back with two strikes. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Kicks and fires. Ball. Foul ball, another 2-2 two -two upcoming. Five foul balls in this at bat so far, and these two are going head to head. You can see the crowd. They're starting to get into it a little bit more and more each pitch, even though there hasn't been a ball in play yet. Squeezes it, one away. The bat, not shortstop. Bobby Witt Jr. steps in for the Royals. Singing, he's a guy that covers both sides of the plate about as well as anyone in the sport. How difficult is that to do? Well, I'll just look at the back of my bubblegum card. You'll see how hard it is. These guys are great, man. They have the ability to look out there, but also to be able to turn on the inside pitch. But the high heat, too much on that one. Well, that was a really good job setting him up right there. Pitcher and catcher working together to finish him off with the fastball. And even though the location probably wasn't what he wanted, the sequence is what got the job done. Clearly they with the swing after seeing the off-speed stuff on the pitch before. And now it's going to be Michael Massey. Way inside. And it's even up. Trying to hold a one-run lead here the bottom half of the eighth inning. Two outs. He goes down looking. Nothing doing for the Royals. They still trail 1-0. So win now for Cleveland, Andres Jimenez. Left hand batter waits. Good eye in that spot. Two balls, one strike. And another ball. Three balls, one strike. And strike two. And yeah, there's ball four. Take your base. Leading off for Cleveland, the third baseman. Man at first, and up next for Cleveland, Jose Ramirez. <laughs> Foul ball there. Kicks and deals. Gets a piece and stays alive. Foul off the plate. They'll do it again. One run game here in the top of the ninth. And another ball. Wouldn't chase that time. Still just the second batter of the inning, and on the mound, he's already thrown 13 pitches. They've got him working hard out there. Three two down. Got him. And a strikeout for the first out here in the ninth. Got away with that curveball, no doubt about it. It passed right through the heart of the strike zone, and he just couldn't get the bat on it. When you strike out on one like that, that's when you start having conversations with yourself, and they're not usually very friendly. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Josh Naylor. And 
That's outside. And a count two and one. Now snap throw to first. And he's back in on a dive. And now the lefty. There goes the runner. Fouls one off. Two and two. The pitch. Chopped to the right side. And he grabs it in foul ground. The pitch. Fouls that off to the left and will do it again. At the belt and fires. Runner goes again. Swing and a miss. Safe at second with a stolen base. Chris, his wheels were the difference maker on that play. Just got in there. Yeah, with StatCast's help, we see his top speed on this stolen base, and that's a big number. I mean, man, he really made his at. He gets the intentional walk here, and now will force it any base with two gone. Now that the right fielder. Will so two on with two Brennan. away. Will Brennan digs in for the Guardians. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Finish him. Cleveland up around looking for more. Fouls it off still one and two. Here comes a pitch. Upstairs. Up the middle with they take the force out. That ends the inning as they squander a chance to pick up some insurance. Guardians strand a couple, but they lead it one to nothing. Emmanuel Classe. Save opportunity for him right here, and he's their guy. Time to lock this one down and get out of here with the W. Now will be the cleanup hitter for the Royals, Salvador Perez. And that's outside. And a count to a run. They get to this part of the order. Yeah, there's some pop there, but more likely there's some base hits. So very important to be patient. Let the pitcher walk you, if he will. One run game, bottom nine. Swung on, belted. That one's back. Tattooed to Tater Town and gone. His first homer of the year, and they tie it up. It's 1-1. The brighter the lights, the more he shines. Yeah, this guy lives for big moments, and right there made a statement big time. That's an impressive swing of the bat to go over the wall to the opposite field gap. And you know, there are a lot of guys that just don't have the pop to do that, and probably just as many who don't have the approach either. He let that ball travel, and he got great extension on the follow-through to drive it out of here. So it's all tied up thanks to the home run. So up now for Kansas City, M.J. Melendez. And another ball. Three-one now. 